I'm, quite, I'm quite being strange. shown pictures. Okay. okay. There's your connection. We're heading down to Betchworth Castle. Huh? That's where we did with your purse. No, it was when I bent down it just came out of my purse. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're filming. Oh no. Hi everyone, we're back, Spiral Paranormal, after a few years break, uh, with a more vloggy style. I'm with Max, we've got our old members, Mandy, we've got Kerry, and, and we've got Alfie. Yeah. I'm not that old. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's very nice to be back. We're doing a little investigation in deepest Surrey, which we're going to take you to in a second. And uh, we'll keep the surprise until we're there. Although you've probably seen that on the titles, you probably know where we're going in the first place. But it's an open uh, area investigation. See what Mandy picks up on, a few experiments. So come along, let's go. Lovely view down the bottom there. All I will say, Mandy, it's originally medieval, but this stone structure is from the 1300s. Okay. There are a couple of legends, but legends is folklore is not really. Um, there is a black dog apparently that comes out at night. The usual. It's all in my book, Paranormal. Sorry. <laughs> Quick plug. There's also a legend of Lord Hope who used to uh, own this around this area in the Deep Venus Estate, and he once killed a. According to folklore, killed a convict with the sword then upon realizing it was his own son he killed oh, that's but i think that's just folklore shame. yeah it's an amazing ruin terrible. so kerry alfie you you guys live literally what not even half a mile away probably yeah and I, you didn't know this is here I, well, I, saw this, one. I heard about no, it no i didn't yeah. I, I heard about it I ages didn't. ago years ago though. i what used to see a sign on the road saying mm -hmm. to castle gardens but I assume that was just like something. Well, there's actually house, another private or... road, which I think might yeah, that might refer that's to it as Castle Gardens. Yeah. I didn't realise this was here until mm. you mentioned it, and this is the first time I've seen mm. it. It's lovely. It's amazing. Yeah. What's interesting here, if you want to follow me round, this is quite a nice little. There's more to it. It's actually even more impressive. Yes, you will. I'll take you around the back here. Yeah. Let's go around here to the back. There we go. Love this place. Betworth Castle. Look at the ruins. Fantastic ruins. I've said I've done videos from here before last year when I was doing some dowsing. I'll link them below. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. For the record, we haven't broken in or anything like that. It's quite easy to get into and we've been very careful, very professional. Um, amazing. Just mind your, just mind your footing, and things like that. What's one that meant? You tune in if you can. I am, I am. Yeah, quite. Let Mandy tune in. Guess she's getting stuck already. So, you want to go? Oh, hold on. It's all right. Ow. Oof. That looks quite new actually. Mm. I think it looks like it's been put there to stop what's already there from yeah. falling down. But they they just going going by the folklore. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. Incredible ruin. That is a deep drop. Wow. It's beautiful. Isn't it? I'm getting all overcome a little bit. I need to it's okay. I'm all right. Yeah. Was it quite, I'm, quite I'm being strange? shown pictures. Okay. I was just going to say that I think if we stood in this bit and asked for some signs, we would get some. I don't know what of. Okay. But I want to go. That's what, I know that's where I've just been, but that's really where I'm drawing to. Is that the bit where there's that drop down? Yes. Yeah. I've got my dad's and I've got a. EVP recorder as well. So we haven't done much EVP over the years, so it's um Yeah, 
Amazing. This has been here for about a thousand years. Before that, there was an Iron Age hill fort here, we're high, quite high up, overlooking the River Mole near Dorking. This is Betchworth Castle, yeah. Pretty amazing. Aha! the old cellar underneath yeah the view from here oh wow yeah look at that lovely, that lovely lake look at that is that the river mole Hi, hi neighbours. Dad's left on. Come for tea. Oh, Lord Hope. Come on for tea. Tea and biscuits. Tea and biscuits. Yeah, we're back in there. Good luck. Why don't you get a torch out? I did bring a torch actually. Yeah, beer, really. okay, well, well, just mind your footing, yeah, please. Hi. This must be the old cellar then. Can't really see us. We're not, we're not even night vision on this. What did you say? In the prison. Yeah. If anyone's down here with us, please, uh, could you make a sign or throw something just to let us know? What was that? Was that it? Yeah. Yeah. Right so there. that would have been there, the door on the, the first floor. floor. Yeah. Yeah. This would be like a cellar. So yeah. that is a chimney, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Because of the way it goes up. And then these two, like fireplaces or... Wow, yeah, because you can see where the... So you feel that goes. here is quite strong? Here is, yeah. definitely, but up there as well, in that bit. Bit we've yeah, saw earlier on there. That door. Yeah. From both sides? Yeah. Okay. If you're liking the video, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. Please leave a comment if you've been here. You know, drop us a message. Is that what they say? Kids say, isn't it, on YouTube? You drop us, drop us a message. Hit that like, subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So last year I was doing some dowsing here, um, which I'll link below, uh, and I found quite a strong earth energy current that comes from West Humble Chapel through into Betchworth and onwards. Now I think there's a major earth energy current coming along the southeast. I want to know, Alfie, I want to know if there's any correlation between where earth energy currents come through and psychic phenomena phenomena and where people actually sense things i'm just quickly going to show you a bit of dowsing very quickly um here you go actually what i'll do if i could i was quickly say is there anything where mandy's finding up this doorway up here can you quickly let me know i hold them upside down by the way is there any spirit in this vicinity we are standing in now very strong oh that was very strong very strong i'll do that again for you please is there any spirits within the vicinity that we are all standing, please? Oh, very strong. Is there any spirit in the doorway above us, please? Is there any spirits in the doorway above us? Not at the moment. But there are spirits in this area here where we are, where we are walking. Thank you. And I'll do one, one more. Also, can you show me the current of the Earth energy current? Which way it goes, please? Which way it goes? Thank you, towards Brockham, yeah, I thought so. Okay, so what's me? Well, I'm always fascinated, I say on my vlogs all the time, why these places are built where they were, if there's another yeah. reason for it. Yeah. Right, I'm going to tell you, you're going to think I'm nuts. No, I don't I Because, do you remember at Tunbridge Castle, yeah. I said to you about Matilda? Yeah. And maybe it is because I love the Barbara Erskine book, I don't yeah. know. But Richard, who was allegedly her boyfriend, I think that he owned this place. Okay, but when I was standing up there, I could see Tunbridge Castle, him, her with her big red hair, yeah. Bramber Castle, and the name Richard, which was his name. Yeah. What period were we thinking of? Because I might be oh, able to correlate, correlate a little bit. What this. do we think? 14th? Well, it was King John. King John. I don't know my history. King John told him that he had to have this castle, and it wasn't his, but King John decided that Richard 
Well, it's Richard de Clare, but he calls himself Richard de Tunbridge, and I don't. I think it's the same person. Yeah, de Clare was a very fam- a prominent name uh, back in sort of early medieval period around so this area. He took it from whoever it belonged to and gave it to this Richard dude, who Matilda was in love with, but she was married to William. Yeah. The Warren thing is a William name, but that's not here. No, that's, not they, here. There is a connection between them, and that's linked with the It's Bramber all on Wikipedia, so I can, I can double check on that. I do, actually, but I've got some notes on me. The Richard thing is here, but she is here. She is here with her big, massive red hair, and she's really tall, and she stands up there. That's why I kept wanting to go. Right. Yeah. Well, if you look at that picture on the, on the fence outside... So that's outside, the main entrance. Yeah. yeah. There would be steps yeah. here right. Because if, if, if you look at the where picture, we it was high up before you came in, by the looks of it. There was. So is that the so main So I reckon we came, you might we would have come in on this, on that, yeah. that level. And over there, is that where we were when I was looking out of yes. that window? Yes. She stands there as well. And I reckon that you could potentially. If you went up there and tried to talk yeah, to her, yeah, I think yeah, she yeah, would talk to you. Yeah. Well, it's been changed, doesn't it? If, mm. I know Mandy doesn't want to read the notes, but. There's been, mm. this has been different things happened here. Yeah. That, that, that woman, I know it's my favourite book, and I'm, I fully yeah, they're, appreciate they're that. She, the, the, but it's not, they're not fictional I've stories. seen no, her no. in more than Those one books. place now. I've well, seen her in four separate places now. She integrates fictional, doesn't she, with facts? Yeah. So. I've seen her at Corfe Castle, I've seen what, her at Bramford Castle, I've seen her at And the fact you're drawn to those books. Are, are you sensible or have here. you seen her? I've seen her. And okay. you're drawn to Not here bit. tonight. I no, no, but, 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 seen her, yeah. but I have. Years ago, you went on holiday in the middle of an airport. That was the book. The only the English book, book in the up. whole of the airport was that one. So I bought it and it was about her. It was about Bramber Castle. And, and now you read all I'm her books. And all, wow. you're, you're, yeah, you are but, obsessed with her. At the same time, I could one. read it a million times mm. and not remember the names, the dates or who went yeah. where or any of that stuff. There's not. This is... But, you know, yeah, built by Robert Fitzgilbert in the 11th century is another prominent name. That's like 200 years before, I yeah. think. I'll have a double check. So what's the name you're looking for? I w- I'll um, uh, send them to you. We've got Matilda. Matilda. William was her husband. Richard de Clare, also Richard, Richard de Clare. Richard de Clare. That, yes, I know de Tunbridge. I know that but name. But he's the same person. Right. Oh, yeah, de Clare was also then changed, wasn't it? That's right. I don't even know. in the Lady of Hay books? Yeah. Hasn't that got yeah, different that's him. connections to... But then there's the Isabella name, yeah. which I thought was Richard's daughter, but would apparently be something slightly more romantic. Mm. We are... That's the front of the yeah. building. Yeah, so that's here. So at about in the middle of that picture, you can see it there, the middle circle, uh-huh. that's what it's saying, you are here. Right. So look, there's a round bit. Look, that, yeah. You can see that brickwork, but is, it that, is that the same brickwork? See what I see? Yeah. Do you think he ever came here? Did he own it? I don't know, you're feeling that. Yeah. I, I know, I think, that it was yeah. his. We've been doing this long enough. Exactly. Just go with, go with your exactly. don't have to. I can't help but want to think to myself, but I love the, I mean, I don't know, am I just thinking it because I love that story? Sometimes it's nice to come up to a wall and just hold the wall. Feel the atmosphere. So it's a case of work, trying to work out whether you, like you're saying, whether it's something you think you've read or whether it's something you think you're feeling. But we know from past experience with you, mm-hmm. it normally come. It's normally yeah. the latter. Yeah. What I do 100% know for a fact that he was here. Yeah. I don't know whether there's even a way to find out where, because I think that she visited him here in secret because she right. was obviously married to somebody else. Okay. She came here to see him, and that's when she found out that he was having this thing with this other person, or maybe they were married. I don't know, but right. she was, but was hugely, else. horribly jealous because she'd gone out on a limb to be here to see him, and he's too busy with her, and that's why she's staring out the window, feeling all. Richard Declare. Richard Declare. I think he's like. It's C L A R E, I think. Richard Declare has anything whatsoever to do with this place because it's come up as a school. It's a school. Where is it? Go onto Wikipedia and go oh, into Richard the Richard Declare, second Earl of Pembroke, 
Yeah, That's him. That. Yeah, I've heard the name before. Yeah, Tunbridge, born 11.30. Same sort of time. So same sort of time mm. as King George. Yeah. And Earl of Pembroke. Right, Richard de Clare. Did you know that name before coming here, the de Clare bit? You did know that name beforehand, yeah, because that's quite a famous name in these parts. Yeah. But I didn't know that there was any link to here, and I still don't know right. if there's any link to here. Yes, yeah, so it might not be recorded, that's a problem, isn't there it? There is a link to here, yeah. and I'm going to find it. Okay. <laughs> I'm determined yeah. I'm going to somehow find Well, we did that it. when we did Stamner and all that with your family link. Yeah, you know, that's, that's still one of the most amazing things that we've ever done. That was incredible. Plumaveral. <laughs> Plumaveral. Yeah. No, there is definitely a declared link, yeah. connection. Okay. That is something to do with King John. King John, okay. Yeah. It's the same person. It says here then, Betchworth was survey. held by Richard de Tunbridge. At the time of Doomsday Survey, it started as an earthworks fortress built by Robert Fitzgilbert yeah. in 11th exactly. century. There's your connection. Wasn't that Paranormal investigation, we're doing well, we're going to Google. Yeah. We're going to yeah. Google. 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 You found what? 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 King John. Yeah, what was, when, um, when was he born? 1166 to 1266, yeah. uh, 1216. Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. King John was one of England's least successful monarchs. Dot, dot, dot. Betchworth Castle was fortified in the late 1300s, so it's all part of the same yeah. website. You're so lucky to have some rich treasures in the Surrey Hills. I mean, amazing. All right, it's a ruin, but ruins have a sort of poetic look to them you know amazing lovely evening it hasn't rained we thought it was going to have a bit of rain but it hasn't which is great so yeah richard de tunbridge lord of clare himself hailed betchworth in something a word that i don't know um it was assessed for two hides and valued at eight that's basically it and but then it went, was passed on to the de warrens oh the de warrens very prominent family, after yeah. they lost them many centuries actually so this well, is like the, Jamaica, this is way after this deeper. isn't it this is yeah. way 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 after which is way after the, yeah this is yeah look this is 1691 yeah so the floors come up to there yeah. Yes, that's in there. And then that is under. Yeah. That's where we were. That's that ah, fucking cave. Gotcha. Got that in there. Yeah. No, I think it's there. No, is that? no the, the caves are here. Yeah, yeah, that's so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so. completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love my children. <laughs> that's a big gap there, don't you? Yeah. Oh my god, wow. Oh, I knew I was in a nutcase. Oh, look at the ducks. Thanks for joining us guys at uh, Betchworth Castle, amazing. Uh, come up with some intriguing stuff from Mandy, we're going to have a look into that a little bit more. Did it help? She got it right? She's good at that. So join us next time, please like, subscribe. Uh, if you've been here, know any, any more, and know any more information, please let us know. Uh, it's Max in on his phone back there. Yeah. Oh no, he didn't have his phone on. Oh no, he's, he's doing that with his hands. Yeah. But uh, thanks very much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.